Okay, today we are going to learn about saying and sensing verbs. Uh, you should have your Voices at Play book with you. Uh, turn to page 348. Later, we will complete page 351 to 361 together. Okay, so what are saying and sensing verbs? Saying and sensing verbs describe what is said and experienced. Let's take a look. Saying verbs describe the way characters say something. For example, from the text, Best Breakfast Ever, you can see this line in paragraph 1. No one complained. We were just happy when he was home. So, a saying verb here is complained. Another example is in a dialogue. In paragraph 3, Honey, I just needed a 30-minute nap and then I'll get ready and we'll go out to eat, he said as he sat down on the couch. So, a saying verb in this sentence is said. What is sensing verb? Can you guess? Yes, sensing verbs involve the senses. What are your senses? Your senses are hear, see, smell, touch, or taste. So sensing verbs describe what characters hear, see, smell, touch, or taste. Here are two examples from Best Breakfast Ever. In paragraph 5, I just watched her. So this is a sensing verb of see, of sight. Another example, I heard her say, Baby, it won't be longer until I can come home to heaven to be with you forever. Which sense does this evoke? The sense of hearing. Okay, so now let's spot what are the sensing and saying verbs in other texts. Let's take a look at this text from A Tiger in the Kitchen. Let's spot saying verbs first. While we didn't have the words to communicate, Tang Ling Ama spoke eloquently to me, to her family by feeding us all. Can you spot a saying verb? Yes, a saying verb here is spoke. Okay, now, can you spot a saying verb in uh, this last line? Friends would regularly request them. Where is the saying verb here? Request. Now, let's spot sensing verbs. Remember, sensing verbs are verbs that involve your five senses. Sensing verbs. Okay. So, What are some sensing verbs here? She would routinely rise in the early hours of the morning to fire up the charcoal stove in order to put breakfast on the table. Okay, so there are three sensing verbs here. Can you spot them? First one, rise. Another one, a verb, fire. Okay, fire up here means start up. Okay, but you can sense the heat when you use the word fire up instead of start. Put. Okay, so you can sense the action. Put. 
okay, soy sauce, braised duck, hearty salted vegetable soup, and even tricky bazang. The pyramid shaped glutinous rice dumpling wrapped, okay, in bamboo leaves that requires such work, few women bother to make them at home. So, what's in another sensing verb here? Wrapped, okay, sense of touch. Ama churns them out with such skill that ever an ever growing circle of relatives, friends, and then friends of friends. Okay, before I go on, which sensing verb can you uh, spot? Make. But is this a very effective sensing verb? Not very. So which one is even effective? Turned. That means make something f fast, right? And uh, with much strength. Okay. Let's spot more saying and sensing verbs here. Saying verbs. Can you spot any saying verbs? Or can you spot any sensing verbs? Let's read. Throughout his life, my father showed kindness to people from all walks of life. As his children, we witness the sacrifices he made for us and his relatives. So witness tells me that it is saw, sense of sight. Okay, But we never knew that he had saved a relative's life. So a uh, sense of uh, it's a sensing verb, saved, touch. Right. It was only at his funeral that we came to know about it through that relative. Came, okay, that means uh, got to know. Okay, whenever we grind, sense of touch, roasted coffee beans. Now the fragrant aroma rising from. So this is also a sensing verb. From the coffee reminds us of the value of kindness. The pleasant scent of coffee beans being ground lingers. Being stayed around. Akin to how an act of kindness leaves. This is not the one that you found on trees, but it is like a being... Um, uh, it's a mem uh, this this kind of uh, leave behind, okay, means that um, there is uh, a trace of it, okay, behind sweet lasting memories in people's minds. So we have spotted saying and sensing verbs in uh, the two other texts that uh, are found in Voices at Play, okay. So to recap, saying and sensing verbs describe what is said and experienced. Now, let's go to the page 351 to do the exercises. Okay. So, remember to write okay, the examples of saying verbs inside. Your book. Remember to write the examples in your book. Okay, pause the video, write the examples, later you'll continue. Now, are you on page 351? Yes, let's start. Okay, on page 351. Okay, so you need to pay attention to following guidelines when using saying verbs in your writing. Okay, uh, words that describe the way characters say something are saying verbs. Examples are shout, whisper, tell. Okay. Uh, 
Here are some common saying verbs which can be used in both direct and indirect speech. Answer, inquire, suggest, ask, question, say, mumble, whispered, demand. So if you use it in past tense in your writing, how would you uh, change the to- uh, change the the the, the uh, verb form? Answered, ed, inquired, suggested, asked, questioned. Say you need to put change it to I D mumbled at a D. Oh, this is already in past tense. Whispered, demanded. Okay, make sure you change that all to past tense. Saying verbs give us an idea of the emotions of the character. Somebody who chuckles is probably happy. Another who screams is probably scared or shocked by something. So here are some saying verbs which show the different emotions characters have. Here, I'm going to change them to past tense. Chuckled. Laughed. Cried. You need to change it to I-D. Pleaded. Giggled, screamed. Okay? Like all verbs, saying verbs change their form to show tense. The table below shows examples of how regular or irregular verbs change their form depending on the particular tense shown. So as you study the table below, look out for patterns that will help you to decide which form of the verb to use. So when you're writing personal recount, you're saying something that's already past. Therefore, you should use simple past tense in your personal writing, uh, personal recount writing. Explained, suggested, remembered, teased, agreed, lied, chatted. You notice that? Double T. Okay. Snapped. Bragged. Deny, you end with a Y. That's why you actually change it to I-E-D. Cry, okay, also the Y. So you change to I-E-D. And this one also is Y. You change it to I-E-D. Okay, make sure that you actually notice that and then, um, use the correct form in your writing. Irregular verb. Say, you change it to said Tell, you say they change it to told. Okay, so let's use saying verbs on voices at play, page 352. Complete the task to see whether if you have understood these guidelines. So pause the video, do the task, later come back and watch the video. Okay, you are supposed to check. You're not supposed to just copy. If you copy, you don't learn anything. So make sure that you try the task before continuing with the video. Okay, are you ready? Have you tried the video? Oh, sorry, have you tried the task? Excellent. Okay, words that describe how characters say something are saying verbs. There are a wide range of saying verbs that make the sentence livelier. Circle the saying verbs. Okay, circle the saying verbs that you find in the conversation below. Mom, I know I have had one lollipop already. Can I have one more? Pretty please? City pleaded. Okay, so which one is the saying verb here? Pleaded. City's mom shook her head, smiled and replied, Okay, City, this is the last lollipop for the month. Okay, so, where is the saying verb? Is it shook, smiled or replied? Yes, 
It's replied. Okay, make sure you circle that. Okay, so let's continue. On page 352, circle the most appropriate saying verbs from the options provided to complete the story. Okay, so I'm going to read through first. Wei Chiang sighed, coughed, choked as he dumped his books on the clean table he had found in the crowded canteen. It was recess time. He did not understand how he could have failed the exam. The words of his teacher, Miss Lim, rang in his head. Can you just study hard for once? You had better pass the exam the next time. Miss Lim laughed, yawned, snapped. So, can you circle the most appropriate saying verbs? Pause the video. After you have done the task, come back. Have you done the task? Fantastic. Let's continue. Okay, so I read that uh, Wei Chang failed the exam. So which one is appropriate? He failed the exam. Coughed, choke, side. Which one is the most appropriate saying verbs? Side. Okay, next one. Miss Lim said this. You had better pass the exam next time! Exclamation mark. Okay? It's like a warning. So which one is the most appropriate saying verb? Is it laughed, yawned, or snapped? Okay. The most appropriate one is snapped. Let's continue. The story. Wei Chiang decided to wait for his good friend Rajan, who was from another class, before ordering some food. He caught sight of Rajan coming from afar. Rajan did not walk. He skipped. Someone is obviously in a good mood, Wei Chiang whispered, commented, cried when he arrived at the table. So, pause the video. Find out uh, which one is the same verb. After you have circled it, then continue the video. Have you circled the same verb? Okay, do you think that Wei Chiang whispered, someone is obviously in a good mood, commented, someone is obviously in a good mood, or cried, someone is obviously in a good mood. Which one is it? Okay, so it should be commented. Let's continue. I finally passed the exam, Rajend exclaimed. Demanded, pleaded excitedly. Circle the saying verb. Pause the video. Are you ready? Okay. Which one is the most appropriate saying verb? I finally passed the exam! Roger exclaimed. Or, what is a demanding way of speaking? I finally passed the exam. Okay. <laughs> or it should be pleaded. Like a pleading tone. I I finally passed the exam. Please, please. Okay, which one is the most appropriate one? Exclaimed. Okay. You can even add an adjective excitedly to add the emotion. Oh man. How did you do it? Wei Chiang yawned. Wei Chiang asked. Wei Chiang suggested. Pause the video and select the uh, most appropriate saying verb. Are you ready? Okay. So, can it be yawned? No. Okay. It's a question. So, can it be asked or suggested? Is it, how did you do it? Is it a suggestion? Okay, a suggestion is something like, uh, perhaps you can consider trying this way. This is a suggestion. So, this being a question, it is ask. I will tell you about my study plan later. Let's get our favorite bento box first. 
the two boys rushed to join the queue at the Japanese store. Regardless of ups and downs in school life, eating their favorite food with a good friend always made life a lot easier to deal with. Okay, out of this five questions, how did you do? Now, do you know what I'm saying, verbs? Great. Okay, on page 353, 500, uh, well, sorry, not 500, but 50-word paragraph describing a scene where you eat your favorite food using saying verbs to use your exchange more vivid and detailed. Okay, I have written a, a paragraph. So you need to spot the saying verbs. I'm going to read the paragraph out and then you are going to spot the saying verbs, okay? Oops, let me go back to that page. At Yishun Park Food Center, my mother queried, What would you like to eat? I responded, Hainanese chicken rice. My mother chuckled. Again? You order the same dish every time. Maybe you'll reincarnate as a chicken in your next life, she teased. I giggled. I like the tender chicken meat and fragrant pandan rice, I explained. How about prawn meat instead? My mother suggested. I shook my head. My mother shrugged her shoulders. Fine, I'll buy chicken rice from your favorite stall, she promised. Can you spot the saying verbs? Pause the video. Okay, spot the saying verbs. Okay. Have you spotted the saying verbs? Now, I'm going to go through what are the saying verbs used in this paragraph and then you can check whether if you understand what are saying verbs. Okay, at Yishun Park Food Center, my mother queried. So, queried means ask. Okay, ask a question. I responded, okay, Hainanese chicken rice responded. It's like replied. Okay. My mother chuckled. Okay. Again, this is a saying verb. Okay. Again, you order the same dish every time. Maybe you reincarnate as a chicken in your next life. Reincarnate means uh, reborn. Okay. She teased. Okay. It means saying in a laughing um uh, manner and trying to make a joke. Okay, the next saying verb. I giggled. Okay, again, this is a saying verb. I like the tender chicken and fragrant pandan rice. Explained. Okay, this is also a saying verb. How about prawn me instead? My mother suggested. Okay, another saying verb here. I shook my head. Is this a saying verb? No, this is more of an action verb. My mother shrugged her shoulders. Is this a saying verb? No, it's again an action verb. Okay, fine, I'll buy chicken rice on your favorite store. Okay, this is again a saying verb. Okay, did you got all this right? Now, try to write, okay, a, a paragraph describing a scene where you eat your favorite food. Okay, you can copy something like what I did, but maybe change the type of food and change the conversation, all right? And then I'll mark when I see you. Now, let's continue. Let's use sensing verbs on page uh, 354 in your Voices at Play book, okay? Um, let me change the color of the pen here. Okay, so uh, sensing verbs... Describe what characters sense using any of their five senses. Sight, hearing, smell, touch and taste. Common sensing verbs describe these uh, five senses are C, 
see, smell, taste, hear, touch. So uh, the sensing verbs gives us an idea of how a character feels or thinks. Somebody who glares and another is probably angry. Okay, oh, sorry, let me just expand that just in case you can't see it. Okay. Someone who uh, eavesdrop is trying, probably trying to find out some uh, more about something secretly. Okay, so here are some sensing words which show how a character feels or thinks. So, sight, look, watch, glance, glimpse, notice, glad. So, use uh, past tense, looked, watched, glanced. Glimpsed, glimpsed or glance means to take a quick look, notice, it means like spotted, let, look at something angrily, sniffed, inhaled, okay, that's for smell, savoured, licked, okay, so that's taste, listen. Overheard, eavesdropped, double P, okay, E-D, that's for hearing, sense of touch, smacked, tapped, felt, change it to past tense, patted, double T, E-D, hark, Double G, E D. Jet, double B, E D. Pressed, E D. Okay, so very good. Uh, I have done the simple past tense. Okay, uh, to. Uh, let you know how a simple present can change to simple past. So very quickly, oh, this is some. Uh, this is one that uh, you notice, right? This is a P double P E D tap double P E D tap hug double G E D. All right. Okay. Irregular verb. Remember, beat is still beat. Same. Same, okay, same. There's no beaten. Okay, overheard, Kennedy. Felt, change it to uh, F E L T, not F L L, uh, not E D, uh, C, saw. Okay, these are quite basic. Now, uh, you should be on page 355. With, okay, I'm going to read aloud and then you need to complete the task to see whether if you have understood the guidelines, okay? Okay, so you need to circle the sensing verbs that you find in the conversation below. So the child said, I can't forget his hurtful words, Mom. I'm starting to hate him for causing me to have nightmares at, uh, nightmares at night. I hear his insults when I'm daydreaming. I wish I could look him in the eye and tell him off. Then the mother said, you can never totally know if someone is a good or bad person. What matters is that you learn to let go of the negative comments and choose to see the good in the situation. I think you need some cheering up. Let's go and taste the food at the new cafe nearby. So, okay, what are some of the sensing verbs here? Okay, some sensing verbs that you can see. Okay, in the first sentence. I can't forget his hurtful words. What is the verb here? Forget. Okay. What is another verb that is in this sentence? I'm starting to hate him for causing me to have nightmares at night. What is one verb? Okay. Is it starting or is it hate? Okay. So, starting means uh, beginning, but is it like sight, touch, uh, smell, okay, 
Hearing. Hmm? Is, is, are there any? Okay. You say that a uh, sense sense of emotion hate. Okay. I'm gonna pause here. Pause the video. You will circle the sensing verbs. After you are done, then come back and check whether if you got all the sensing verbs. Okay, pause the video. Okay, are you ready? Okay, I'm going to go through the sensing verbs that are found in the conversation now. Okay, so uh, the next sentence. I hear, so very, very obvious, this verb here. Okay, another verb. Okay, it starts when I'm daydreaming. Another verb, daydreaming. Okay. Another verb, I wish I could look in the eye and tell him all. Another verb here, and there are two, there are two here. Two uh, sensing verbs, sensing verbs. Look him in the eye and tell him off. Okay, the next one. Okay, spot the sensing verb here. You can never totally know if someone is a good or bad person. No, okay. What matters is that you learn to let go of the negative comments and choose to see the good in a situation. What are the sensing verbs here? Learn. Okay. Another sensing verb, choose. Okay. Another sensing verb here, see. Okay. I think uh, you need some cheering up. So, another verb, think. Let's go and taste the food at the new cafe nearby. Go. Okay. And taste. Okay. Do you get all that? Fantastic. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, for this one, you need to write the sensing verbs to complete the story. This is on page 356. I'm going to read through and then you're going to put some uh, sensing verbs in later. All right? It was the school speech day and Herzam was feeling lousy. His soccer team had tried so hard to win the C Division Championship Trophy again, but failed. He sighed as he, the loud cheers from the students as the school volleyball team went up to the stage to receive the Best Sports Team Award. Herzam could still remember the last few minutes of the final game when he had slipped and fell. He gently... He's bruised as he recalls that his fall allowed the opponent to score a last-minute goal which, has ca which caused his team to lose. How I wish I could play that game again. I would make sure I don't fall this time, he mumbled to himself. Harazan was so deep in thought that he did not realize that his friend Boone had been observing him closely. Boone could his sadness as Harazan had not even looked up once during throughout the speech day ceremony. He nudged her thumb and whispered, Dude, stop moping like someone died. Let's go eat some chicken wings later at the canteen. My treat, her thumb could almost. The aroma of the chicken wings as he turned to Boone and nodded. Okay, so put in the sensing verbs. To complete the story, okay, we will uh, pause the video. I will go through the uh, possible sensing verbs with you. Okay, try first. Make sure you try, okay? If you don't try, you don't learn, okay? Are you ready? Have you tried? Good. I'm glad that you have tried to... Uh, fill in the blanks. So let's continue. Okay. It was the school speech day and Herzam was feeling lousy. His soccer team had tried so hard to win the C Division Championships trophy again, but he failed. He saw as he. Now, well, okay. loud cheer. So what can it be? Which sense do you use when you look at it? Uh, here. Okay, here. Is it here or is what is the past tense of here? Heard. Okay, how do you spell heard? 
Is it ED or is it just a D? D, good. Okay. okay I'll quickly skip that, okay? Uh, he gently what? He's bruised. Bruised. Okay? Sense of what? Which sense? Touch. Okay. Okay. And this is in past tense, so um, what should it be? In past tense, touched. T-O-U. Past tense of touch. E-D. Okay. Next. Okay. Boon could what his sadness. Okay, what her some sadness. Okay, so sadness is a sense of feeling. Okay, is it could felt? Okay, remember that after a model it should be a should be a base form. Base form is feel. Okay, not felt. Okay. Let's continue the next one. Aroma. Aroma means um fragrant smell. Okay, so which uh sensing verb should this be? Smell. Okay. Hey, why is it not smelt? Do you know why? Because there is a model here, so it's smell. Okay. Last part. Okay, on page three hundred and fifty seven, let's use sensing verb. You need to write a 50-word paragraph descri describing the scene at your favorite food place. And then you need to use sensing verbs to make your description more detailed and vivid. Then underline the sensing verbs that you have used. Exchange your passage with your friend and check your friend's work for errors. Okay, I have written something for you. So I'm going to read aloud and then you are going to spot the sensing verb. Okay. At Swenson's restaurant, I flip through the menu and scrutinize the items available. Everything looked so delicious. I glanced at the table next to mine. There was a jumbo banana split in front of a boy. Three scoops of strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla ice cream were sandwiched between fresh bananas. They were drizzled with a trio of gooey chocolate fudge, strawberry sauce, and pineapple sauce. My stomach growled. I licked my lips hungrily. I raised my hand and yelled, Waiter, I'm ready to order. So, I'm going to pause here. Okay. Spot, what are the sensing verbs? Okay, what are the sensing verbs? After you have spotted, then the, the sensing verbs continue the video. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, let me just change this color to black. Okay, and use my pen. Okay. Now, okay, uh, can you spot the sensing verb here? At Swenson's restaurant, I flip through. So this is like a touch. Okay, and scrutinize the items available. Okay, look. Look thoroughly. Okay, look very in-depth. Okay, everything looked. Sense, uh, sensing verb here. Okay, another sensing verb. Glanced at the table next to mine. Sensing verb. Glanced. Okay. Now, sensing verb here. Is that was? No. Okay, that's not sensing verb. Okay, what are some of the sensing verbs? So that include uh, results. Okay, sensing verb. Sandwiched. Okay, sensing verb, grout, sound, grout. Sensing verb, licked, touch. Okay, uh, sensing verb, raised. Okay, yelled, is it a sensing verb? No, okay, what is it? It's a saying verb. Saying verb, yelled. Okay, this is a saying verb. Okay, saying verb.
All right, so um, I went through uh, the exercise. What do you need to do next? You need to write a 50-word paragraph describing a scene at your favorite food place. And then if you can, please uh, highlight or circle the fencing verb that you have used. Okay? Uh, oh, no. Your friend is supposed to... Uh, uh, yeah, you are supposed to underline or circle the, the sensing verb you have used. Okay? That's it. Thank you.